Hello, it's good to have you with us because on Riff Off Britain today, we're going to be investigating problems with something that in this day and age really should be pretty fundamental. And that is heating your home and keeping warm. Not too much to ask, you might think. But uh, for some of you, it has proved surprisingly tricky. You're absolutely right. Now, whether that's down to equipment not working the way it should or bills much higher than you could ever, ever have imagined, the situations some of you have told us about are not ones that you want to find yourself in next winter. Although in some cases, they've rumbled on for years without anybody ever being able to sort them out. And what's especially frustrating about that is that some of the heating systems we'll be talking about are real state-of-the-art stuff, clever devices that are supposed to be energy efficient too. So as well as finding out why that's not always been the case, we'll see what we can do to help put things right. Coming up on today's programme, why homeowners across dozens of estates blame the same supposedly energy efficient heating system for pushing them into debt. I won't be able to afford to heat my house for my children. Now, how can you stand there and say this is an OK situation? During our last series of Rip Off Britain, we revealed an apparently energy-efficient heating system that, for many of you, turned out to be anything but. In fact, quite a lot of you wrote to us saying that having had the system fitted, your electricity bills turned out to be four times more than you were expecting. Well, exactly the same system has been fitted into thousands of homes across the country. And while the manufacturer is absolutely adamant that there is nothing wrong with it, we do keep hearing from people who are having exactly the same problems. So, I went to one of the estates that's affected, where, for some residents, things really have reached a crisis point. These housing association homes here in Coventry look really nice, don't they? And as an added bonus, they're supposed to be eco-friendly and affordable. Trouble is that uh, some of the residents I've been talking to tell me that they've turned out to be anything but. So tell me what you were told about the, the heating system in the house. They said that it would only cost us no more than 30 to 35 pounds a month to run the whole system. But it hasn't worked out that way. My first ever bill, I'd only been in the house for four months and it was for £2,700. It's an absolute nightmare. It really is. I, I, I'm never going to be out of debt of it. So, so what would you ideally like to happen? I'd ideally like them to rip it out and smash it up. So what is it that's causing Deborah and other residents such grief? Deborah's home, like uh, most of them on the estate, is fitted with this heating system, which is made by the Swedish company, Nibi. Rip Off Britain first became aware of problems with these heating systems last year, after we began hearing from people who were receiving astronomical electricity bills. What they all had in common was the same Nibi system fitted into their homes. Called an exhaust air source heat pump, it replaces the need for a gas boiler, but performs the same function using electricity. It works by taking the heat from the waste air leaving your house and then pumping it back into your home to help provide heating and hot water. All very clever. And all being well, as friendly to your pocket as it is to the environment. Sounds like a really practical solution, doesn't it? And when it works properly, it really should be energy efficient. Sadly, many of the people living on this estate have told us that that is not the case, that in fact they've been saddled with horrendous electricity bills that have left them in serious debt. At this moment in time, I'm paying £351 a month for my direct debit. <sighs> Over the past three years, it has increased. We moved in August and the bill that we received in December was over £1,000. The thing is, this isn't just an isolated incident restricted to this one estate. We've heard of exactly the same problems happening where this system has been installed in hundreds of homes across the country. The high bills occur when the system's emergency but expensive backup immersion heater kicks in. So what is it that's making these systems work less effectively than they're supposed to? and sending families who are expecting to save money into debt. Samantha Clawson has lived on this estate in Cambridgeshire since 2010. When we filmed with her last year, she was struggling to make ends meet after receiving energy bills far higher than she'd anticipated. We were told we had a great heating system that was going to be economical and it was going to be green, um, which was perfect. We had a report telling us it was going to be around £500 a year for our heating and our hot water, it couldn't have been better, really. 
The energy performance certificate that came with the house had been very clear about how much Sam could expect to pay for her electricity. But when the bill arrived two months after she moved in, it said something quite different. When our first electricity bill came through for £252, that was for just under two months, we were horrified. And with subsequent bills equally high, Sam was facing some tough decisions. We owed in the region of £1,500. Our only choice was to pay half of that or go on a key meter. Once we were put onto a key meter, it became absolutely clear that this system was far from economical and was in fact costing us a fortune to run. Over Christmas, it very quickly became £10 a day and I was horrified. In fact, when I realised this, I turned our heating off and the choice was we eat or we keep warm. We'd already heard of similar experiences, but after highlighting Sam's case, more of you in the same position got in touch. Dozens of households having now told us that instead of saving them money, their NIBI system was actually costing them more. Lorraine Pommels moved on to this estate in July 2011. The estate was marketed as one of the most eco-friendly and energy efficient developments in the country. Like all the residents, Lorraine was delighted at the prospect of saving money on heating bills. When um, we, we, got, we moved in here, they said that it cost um, half of an average normal four-bedroomed house um, per year. Indeed, the paperwork that she was given when she moved in showed that she could expect electricity bills as low as £426 a year. But when her first bill arrived in August of 2011, Lorraine was horrified to find that it was three times more than predicted. And things only got worse. Every month during the winter, she was getting bills that added up to over half of what she thought she would spend across the whole year. Well, when the second bill arrived, it, it just went up. The third bill came, it went up. And the more bills that came up, it went up, 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 up. We was promised that they were going to be cheap to run. And this is showing quite the opposite. Some of Lorraine's neighbours have had exactly the same trouble. And since the estate is classed as affordable housing, it's a serious problem for many on the street. Lorraine's next door neighbour, Chrissy, has been struggling with the system since she moved in, although the Housing Association has tried to help where it can. Tell them you've no heating, you've got young children, OK? Somebody will bring heaters out to you. If you want, the heaters that I've got, I'll let you have some of them. As well as generating high bills, Chrissy's NIBI system has also sometimes broken down. And with four children to keep clean and warm, that's a problem. At the beginning of the year, I was without hot water and heating and uh, had to go stay in the travel lodge for five full days. I'm getting slightly worried now about the next winter coming and how much the bills are going to be again. I have actually got somebody coming this week to see if I can move somewhere else because I'm just that stressed out, worried about all bills all the time. On this estate, rather than chat over the garden fence, neighbours often meet in each other's boiler cupboards, a scene that's been replicated in other neighbourhoods where the NIBI system has not worked as expected. In total, we've now heard from people living on 30 different housing estates up and down the UK who say they've been hit with bills much higher than expected. And it's not always been simple to get things resolved. You get tired and depressed and upset, you know, and you don't feel like you're being listened to and it's been two years now, coming up to two years. We shouldn't be having this much pressure on us. Well, NIBI are adamant that there's nothing wrong with their systems. So later in the programme, we'll hear their explanation for what's gone wrong. It could be the installation, it could be the sizing of the unit, it could be how the unit's being used. And as some residents in Coventry reach breaking point... I won't be able to afford to heat my house for my children. Now, how can you stand there and say this is an OK situation? We'll also see how the housing association responsible for that estate is promising drastic action to resolve the situation. I can give a commitment today that we will replace those, those systems because clearly they're not performing as they should do. Earlier in the programme we heard about the affordable homes that have become anything but for some of the people living in them thanks to a heating system that's sent their bills sky high. 
made by the Swedish manufacturers Nibi. It's supposed to result in lower energy costs. But some estates with bills and tensions mounting are taking drastic action in an attempt to solve the problem once and for all. And on one of them, things are about to get very lively. We've now heard from residents on 30 estates across the country who say that the supposedly energy-efficient heating systems installed in their homes has done the opposite of what was promised. And everyone who's contacted us about this has a similar story. Instead of providing low-cost heating and hot water, their systems have led to bills four times higher than they should be. On this estate in Coventry, Deborah Hambridge has had problems with her Nibi system ever since she moved in back in 2010. It's an absolute nightmare. It really is. I, I, I'm never going to be out of debt of it. I can't afford to pay. I mean, at the moment, I'm paying £200 a month on a direct debit. And I can't pay anymore. There isn't any more to pay. You must be angry and frustrated, but can you see any solution to this at all? No, because nobody will tell you that there's anything wrong. They just, like... It doesn't matter who you speak to, nobody wants to know about it. They're saying there isn't a problem, although they have said that they're going to do some investigations in the next couple of weeks. But this is three years on and we're still in the same boat. And what about your neighbours? What do they say? They can't do anything about it either. None of us can. So if you were faced by somebody from NIBI and somebody from the Housing Association, what would you say to them? Do something about these boilers. They can't say it's an affordable housing when we're paying out every penny to keep the house heated. Well, today, the housing association responsible for the estate has agreed to come and meet me and listen to residents' frustrations. Morning, Alan. Ladies, here's your man. That's You've been over the about since I've... this problem since 2010, basically. We all moved in. What are you actually going to do? The debts need to be sorted out. We're in huge amounts of debt through no fault of our own. We're, we've come to you, you're the people that are supposed to be helping us and absolutely we've hit a brick wall. Well, what we're going to do is obviously we're going to meet with everybody um, who's, got a, who's got a problem. Um, it's not all of, the, all of the properties, but all of the properties that have got a concern then obviously we'll, we'll meet with you. Um, you say it's terms... a minority though, it's not a minority. Well, There's a quite a large number of people on this estate. Every time I ring up and complain, I get told that I'm in the minority. I'm not a minority. We know here today that there's at least 30, 30-odd 30 houses at least in the same situation as us. I mean, obviously, the, the issue for us is that, uh, that Nibi supplied these, uh, these boilers. We're, we're yeah. not happy with, with, with what's happened here with, no. with these boilers. And clearly, it's not a sustainable situation if winter after winter your, your bills are too high. So what we're saying is we will commit to, uh, to, to cover the costs. I'm a single parent, and we're still having to pay our direct debit. Otherwise, we have to sit in that house with no heating. Mm. No, well, that, that's not acceptable, and we it will. No, it really isn't acceptable. Um, but why well, is it not having to come to this extent yeah. for you to actually sit up and take some notice of us and start listening? We have made phone calls after phone calls to people that pass the book to another person. I've had to go in my own time. I've been in court three or four different Wednesday afternoons. I've had to take off work to go to court to argue to not get prepayment meters fitted in my house because if they do I won't be able to afford to heat my house for my children now how can you stand there and say this is an okay situation well it's not an okay situation which is exactly the reason why so we've, why hasn't um... some notice been taken of us before three years we've been living like this well, we've now established a team of people who are, will be working with you. Um, and we will, we've got meetings that are booked uh, for everybody. We will talk about your, your bills. We'll actually arrange to, to make payments. The whole thing is, we were told we were moving into affordable housing with energy efficient mm. boilers, heating systems that were going to cost us no more than between 60 and £80 pound a month for mm. all of our bills. That has never happened. Mm. Well. We've now established a team that's going to specifically work on this problem. We will work with you to, uh, to look back over the period that you've, you've been involved in uh, living on this estate. And, you know, we're here to, to commit to help you solve this problem. 
The Housing Association has now decided that by the start of winter, they'll have replaced the NIBI systems in all of the estate's larger homes with what they call a highly efficient, more traditional gas-fired boiler. And they'll do the same in the smaller houses if the residents want them to. They'll also carry on making hardship payments to customers who've had high bills in the past. It's a similar story on some other estates across the country, including all of those that we've heard about on this programme. Those residents who've had months of sky-high bills are also now having their NIBI systems removed. As a result, people like Samantha Clawson, one of the first to tell us about this problem, have already seen their bills come down. But here in Coventry, the Housing Association regret making the decision to have these systems installed in the first place. You've been very honest and straightforward with me about what you intend to do. How angry are you with NIBI? I'm pretty unhappy about this. They gave us that confidence and clearly what's happening on the ground now is, is, is not the same. You know, it's a different story. Uh, and I think there are particular issues where, you know, this is electric heating and where people can't pay their bills, sometimes they're being put on to prepayment meters. And I've spoken to other housing associations who've got very similar problems to ours. And I wonder just how many people there are out there, how many tenants are struggling, just like some of the people that we've, we've got here today. With the Housing Association taking the flak, what do manufacturers Nibi have to say? Well, they insist there is no problem with the heating system itself, and any failures are entirely a result of poor installation or misuse. We've got thousands of these units installed throughout the country, from you know the highlands of Scotland all, all, all the way down to the south coast. The majority of them running very efficiently, very effectively. I understand we have systems on this estate here where we are today that you know we're having no problems with at all and, and, and the, the end users are extremely happy with the, the heating, hot water and ventilation that the units produce. Let me tell you that on this site um, the Housing Association feel perhaps that you have missold the boilers. That's their, that's their view. That they're not up to the job that they need of them. I mean that's, that's, that's contrary to the meetings that I've had you know, with the housing association, there's been no, there's been no mention of that mm. at all. You know, at all to us, that comes, as, you know, that comes as a, that comes as a, a big surprise. Nibi went on to tell us that although they've had concerns if consumers are having problems, it is inappropriate to hold them responsible for the performance of a system if it's not been properly installed or is being misused. They say none of the issues identified are connected with faults with the technology or the manufacture of their systems, and that they've identified only a few hundred cases where there are genuine issues, generally because the units being chosen and installed are too small for the property concerned. They say independent research shows that their systems can reduce bills if they are properly specified, installed and operated. And although ultimately they consider these issues to be for the developers and the Housing Association to address, they say that they have tried to rectify the problems reported to them with visits and repairs at their own expense. They're doing everything they can to ensure that specifiers and developers have a full understanding of the system and have made it a condition of the guarantee that all installers are properly accredited and trained. But the residents in Coventry and elsewhere who've had problems with their NIBI systems aren't really bothered who's to blame. They're just hoping that these measures put an end to their heating problems once and for all.